case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The United States Bankruptcy Court for the Southern District of New York decided in a 2005 case in ReFootstar Inc. that debtors in bankruptcy court having taken over management of their company must consider the terms of their contracts with other parties and cannot assume those contracts if it would result in someone other than the debtor performing under that contract. The lawsuit originated when the bankruptcy court needed to determine if debtors could keep their contracts with Kmart Corporation. Kmart objected stating that the debtors had breached contracts and couldn't provide assurance of future performance. However, the court ruled that the debtors could assume their contracts under Section 365A of the Bankruptcy Code because the debtors' divestment of unprofitable operations had left them with a profitable Meldisco division, with over 1,500 shoe departments generating 95% of their current revenues from sales in Kmart stores. The parties operated under a master agreement between Footstar Inc. and Kmart, with each shoe department in a Kmart store being operated by a separate Shoe Mart corporation owned by Footstar and Kmart. Ultimately, the court held that Section 365C1 of the Bankruptcy Code did not prohibit debtors in possession from assuming contracts, and the limitation on trustees' power did not apply to debtors who assumed but did not assign contracts. The court rejected Kmart's argument in the LaRue hypothetical test, opting instead for a case-by-case -case inquiry. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class. 